what happens if someone overwrites the shared parameter file by loading another shared parameter from another file? So um, again, going back to the way that that question is asked, um, awesome, Brian, uh, you're gonna go ahead and show it. Yeah, I was just, you can go ahead and say what you wanted to mention. I was just gonna mention the fact that it only exists in the project either as a project parameter or a family parameter. So which parameter file it is sourced from when this part is changed is not necessarily an issue unless you don't notice that it's been changed. The, the issue lies within when you actually load one of those parameters as a project parameter or within a family, if that comes from a separate pro, uh, shared parameter file. So um, again, trying to interpret that question a little bit, um, it, it, the, the way that I see things um, tend to go into like guidelines and standards and workflows, so I'll, I'll speak uh, kind of from that, but if there's a single source of truth, uh, there's ways of being able to lock that stuff down to where people only have read-only access to it, um, or um, and and if it is something that needs to be edited, it's done prior to starting a project. Uh, that way, everybody's consistently using the same uh, document. Um, and and if it is, uh, but then there's also standards around how you edit it, like not changing um, existing shared parameters uh, in the middle of the project because it could potentially cause uh, problems with uh, scheduling things. Um, so uh, to Brian's point, doing it, um, changing that location doesn't really matter much if the uh, share parameter has not been used in your project and you're scheduling things, but even if it is, it's a part of the project. Um, it, it's just a matter of, all the families that might be pulling from the shared parameter or uh, elements within your model that might be pulling from the shared parameter where you, you start to run into issues. So um, hopefully that answers the question um, that that could literally go down a rabbit hole of, of uh, if this and that kind of conversation. So if it did not answer your question, feel free to let us know and we can, we can address it more clearly. Um.